It's my birthday, so today I'm showing you how to make my favorite foods, chips and dip. These are the five most crowd-pleasing dips you should be making at home. I took a little poll on my Instagram and what you want to see the most is restaurant style queso at home. So we're just gonna do it in the microwave. You don't even need to turn on your stove. The cheese I'm starting with for this dip is white American cheese. Is this authentic? Wait till you taste it. The easiest way to get this white American cheese is at the deli counter. Just have them slice you off a chunk that's about one pound and then just cut it into cubes. For the same price, you get just one little bowl at the restaurant, you're gonna get triple the amount of queso dip. We're gonna add the cheese to a microwave safe bowl and pour in some half and half. Then we're gonna microwave that in one minute intervals, stirring in between until it's good and creamy. So creamy, now we gotta put on the finishing touches. We're gonna add some diced pickled jalapenos with just a little bit of the juice, a pinch of cumin, and a little bit of cayenne. One final spin in the microwave for about 30 seconds, and it's queso time. Mm. Mouth is watering. Time to dip. When I dip, you dip. We did. You could serve that on a shoe and it would be good. <laughs> Where's my margarita? The party has begun. Next up, probably my most recent favorite is buffalo chicken dip. Of course, you've had this before, but have you had it like this? Do not make this dip with canned chicken. This is so easy, just plop it on some foil, a little salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Cook it in the oven, 325 for about an hour. You've got perfectly juicy, tender chicken. It's that easy. When it's done, we've got perfectly cooked chicken. All we have to do is chop it up and mix everything together. Add in cream cheese. Make sure your cream cheese is softened. A good buffalo sauce now, Frank's is the way to go for this dip. The next ingredient is ranch dressing. You could do blue cheese dressing if you love blue cheese with your wings, and then just some cheddar cheese. Grate the cheese with the box grater on the side, then you can just dump it right in. And just pour all this into a lightly greased baking dish. We'll bake it at 375 till it's good and bubbly. If you, like me, like to dip your wings in ranch and blue cheese, then you can top it with a little bit of blue cheese crumbles. This looks so good. I'm telling you, if you've never made buffalo chicken dip, this is the one to try, and it doesn't have to be Super Bowl to enjoy it. I really like eating this with celery as the chip. I mean, then it's low carb. Also, it's a great idea to let this dip sit for about 10 minutes before eating so that everything kind of comes together. Mm, mm, mm. This next dip is a throwback, the good old hot spinach and artichoke dip. If you pick up some canned artichokes and frozen spinach, you probably have everything else on hand to throw this together. I like to start with artichoke quarters, so I wanna drain these and chop them up a little bit. Now it's time to create that creamy goodness. A little mayonnaise, a little sour cream, a little cream cheese. Then we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese and then kick the flavor up with a little Worcestershire and hot sauce. It's gonna be good. Just put it in your casserole dish. This could be done up to a couple days before if you're having a party. Also don't like to smooth it too much on the top because I want those little bits on the top to get brown. TGI Fridays ain't got nothing on me. This dip might be the most crowd pleasing of all. You can serve it with crackers, tortilla chips, Fritos. Today I'm going with the crunchy pita chip. The perfect bite. Mm. This next dip is what made me establish that chips and dip are my favorite food. It's the old school onion dip. This onion dip is the perfect accompaniment if you are eating a burger, a hot dog, or any kind of sandwich this summer, this is your dip. It starts with a whole tub of sour cream. The onion flavor in this dip is primarily coming from onion powder. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of garlic powder, salt, and pepper. The great thing about making your own version of this dip is that there's no packet involved, no artificial ingredients, no preservatives. You know, it's a little cleaner. At this point, it's ready and it's delicious, but to make it even tastier, you wanna let it sit in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. If you make this the day before, even better. I've never really tried it, but I could probably eat this entire bag of chips with the dip. To heighten the onion flavor in this and to really just 
brighten it up a little bit with a little freshness. You can top it with some fresh chives. You could even stir them into the dip. Things don't have to be complicated. Sometimes the simplest things are the best. This, in my opinion, is the ultimate party dip. Mm. It's my birthday. We are gonna party like it's my birthday. For my final trick, I'm recreating another favorite restaurant style salsa. If you're like me, you eat the endless bags of chips, you can practically drink the salsa and you wanna know how to make it at home, this is the greatest recipe, I promise you. I'm literally gonna give everything just a super quick rough chop and throw it into the food processor, starting with just a few Roma tomatoes. I like to balance this out with some of the canned tomatoes. These just have that sweetness and they're super ripe. I like to use a combination of serrano and jalapeno pepper. The serrano pepper's got a little more of a bite to it. Regardless, if you want your salsa hotter on the spicier side, leave the seeds in. We'll also add in a little bit of smokiness from some cumin, a little salt, and fresh lime juice. And then finally, cilantro. It's a must-have in my salsa. If you don't like it, you can leave it out. Gotta give it a taste. Sometimes you need to adjust your seasonings. Yep, needs a little more salt. You should definitely be making this salsa with all those fresh tomatoes this summer. And this is better than restaurant. Mm. It is a burst of freshness in your mouth. A definite must try. I am one happy birthday girl and now it's time to make a drink and take a dip. And when it comes to delicious crowd pleasing dips, you can cook that. Come on now dip, baby dip. Dip, baby, dip, dip. <laughs> what are you doing? Dip, 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 dip. I love dip. <laughs>